I, 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 hey, what's going on, world? You know what it is. It's time to talk blurred biz with your favorite blurred friends, and that rhymes. I didn't even do it on purpose, but that's just how we get down. What's popping? Let's get into what we're talking about. Yes, obviously, X Men is popping right now. They are not holding back. Shout out to Remy. We definitely have to discuss because there's things going on. I ain't gonna lie, man. This is a it's quite the week. It's quite the week to discuss X Men because uh, it is literally leading the pack when it comes to Marvel, in my opinion. So we want to get into what it's bringing to the table. But in addition to that, there are a couple of announcements. Exciting things are on the horizon. If you are not already ready, I mean aware, excuse me, the Fallout video game has a live action production that is currently airing on Amazon Prime. You gotta check it out. It's exciting news. And speaking of streaming things, Good Times, the actual animated show is now featured on Netflix. Starring our homegirl, Yvette Nicole Brown, who will be joining our broadcast in a couple of weeks. So look out for that. We will discuss. We will discuss. Uh, Star Trek Discovery has been out for a few weeks now, and it is the final season, y'all. Yes, with our lovely Mikhail uh, of Michael Burnham, first black woman captain of an Enterprise ship on main screen. We got to discuss what's going on in that. There is a new Joker two trailer, and I know everybody loves the Joker, right? <laughs> I believe <laughs> I'm not mistaken. I think Steph said that she is <laughs> white male fragility at its best. We will discuss. We will. Discuss discuss we've also got on the docket can you believe that <laughs> i'm so excited about this this is going to take tmnt to a whole nother level not only is it michelangelo with all of the tmnt weapons but they are going rated r i am so geeked out let's talk about it we also have a solar eclipse that happened to happen this week. Did you get a chance to check it out? And what did that remind me of? A show that we used to watch back in the day. Let's discuss, let's discuss. Couple announcements coming up. Our homeboy, creator, its original writer of the Good Time Show, Mr. Carl Jones, will be once again joining us again in a few weeks. So make sure you mark your calendars. We will be down for that. Our homeboy, Michael Lamar, will also be joining us. The black gay comic geek himself, talk x-men and everything else going on in the world so let's definitely bring that up let's bring it up and of course there's a few other things going on i ain't gonna lie Whew. i'm a little out of breath <laughs> I think we should just go ahead and get into the show we will also discuss our favorite black characters uh today and i will focus today on black villains some of our favorite black villains let's get into that and we're also just months away from the deadpool 3 release which deadpool says he is marvel jesus <laughs> is that true or not i don't know let's discuss anyway guys y'all already know what it is it's your boy the real bench taylor i am live we are here to represent with our friends we've got live in the building none other than step ray what's up step We've got Yazzie in the building. Y'all, we got Nolly in the house. Y'all, we got Tippy Star Child in the house. What's up, Tip? And we all here. Let's go ahead and talk this blurred stuff, y'all. It's the new blurred order. Tell them who it is. I that? love the new blurred order. You should too. <laughs> Let me get all this 10 p Wayne. All the niggas rapping about the same old thing. I've been coming through with the same old game. As we said, there is much, much, much to discuss, but we start off with our lead, and the lead today, everybody, is none other than X-Men 97, the fifth episode, dare I say, one of the most emotional emotionally loaded episodes. This show does not want you to go to bed and be happy. Like, can I just say, like, it's this show just tugs at every heartstring. It it makes you... Is it just me, or does, like, X-Men just literally make it so that every theme in the show is a microcosm of actual real life? And we see that once again in the Genosha episode, where we get a chance to frolic to the island of genosha 
of which is a completely uh, is completely habitated by mutants. So if I could, quick spoilers, just for those of y'all who have not seen it, we will be spoiling it. So, hey, it is what it is. If you ain't seen it, we about to tell you about it. I'm giving you a chance. Three, two, one. Let me set the tone if it's okay. All right. Imagine us melanated peoples all got together and decided, you know what? Let's go be somewhere where we can be safe because we're constantly being ostracized, constantly being put in these situations where we're actually oppressed. Let's get our own island. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and have an island where we can live, have fun. And oh my God, if you watch the episode, they was having so much fun. I never seen mutants just so happy and delighted to be amongst each other. But while we're sitting there frolicking, having our Juneteenth celebrations, having our barbecues, doing the wobble, all of a sudden a bunch of evil giant robots come down to fuck us up in the middle of our celebration. Like, how do we react? What do we do? Even when our future son comes to warn us about it and there's nothing we can do about it. How do you handle this type of thing? This is what this episode is all about. We get to meet some new folks and we even get some of our favorite characters from back in the day. And I'm just curious as to what our feelings are about this most recent show. I got a good feeling that we're all in the same boat. But I'm going to take this slide down and I want you to give me thumbs up if you loved it. Now, Steph, I know you didn't get a chance to see it, but we're going to spoil it. You're going to be our one. But for everybody else, thumbs up if you loved it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Meh in the middle. If it's either way, I'm going to take it down in three, two, one. Ah. All thumbs, baby. Oh, oh, whoa. What the heck? Trina, are you were doing too much? <laughs> Jubilee is doing way too much. Apparently, Jubilee is here. And, and, Steph didn't even see it and she liked it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. So, uh, Tiffy, feelings? Oh, no. Oh, you're muted. Oh, I liked it. Liked it? Okay, okay, okay. Um, yes, same? Yeah, it was It was a good episode. Nolly, loved it? I cried like a fucking baby, but yes. Do we have any favorite parts, highlights, what it is that we love the most about this? I can tell you mine, but I'd rather not go first. Um, Tiffy, how about you? Uh, my favorite part was Emma being innocent and sitting back and looking at the drama happening between Jean Scott and Madeline and having no involvement whatsoever this time. So anyone talk about Emma as a home wrecker and all that, fuck you. This is a different world. It's a brand new day. That was my favorite part. That's the best part of the whole episode. Tiffy, is it bad to say that as soon as Emma popped up on the screen, you were the first person I thought of? I was like, it's Emma. It, it, the drip, the drip. I know you have something to say about the drip, right? I, I love the drip. I wish we would have saw more of it because they really only showed her like from the like the bust up, so we didn't get to see the whole outfit. And I was literally just like, the outfit. What is she wearing? But what is she wearing? <laughs> what is she wearing? So yeah, if people see Emma and associate me with that, good. And she is no longer a home wrecker. Even better. Like just good. Just give them, like a positive character. She was just sitting back, not minding her business. Just I love that for her. She was just like. Mm. Mind she, trip. That's crazy. Yo, like, but yo, Tiffy, like she's also like so in demand. Like she she's giving me like like future storm vibes, right? Like I'm asking you, uh uh, before we ask Yaz and 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 Nolly, this is jiving with the comics. Um, but is she serving the way that you imagined in the animated series, the way that she was in the comics? Uh, can you guys uh, still see me? Because I just pressed something wrong on my computer, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yep. Can you see me? Because I can't throw. You've you frozen a little bit. You know, you, you go. Okay. But we can get my computer to come back. Come back to me. Okay, we'll come back to you a little later. How about Nolly? All right, I'll, I'll... Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, for me, um, it's hard to say. She, we got such a little... We only got a little glimpse of Emma and the focus really wasn't on her. So right, my right. biggest concern was that she did not die in the massacre. And people are saying that, of course, she did. And um, But other people are saying that they were hints that her diamond power activated because in the comic books, that's when her secondary mutation kicks in because it's the psychic powers and then it's the diamond form. In the comics, mm -hmm. the diamond form kicks in at the Genosian massacre, like a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole lot of stuff falls on her and one of her students. 
kills her student, but she's in her diamond form for the first time. That's how she survived. So we don't know if that's what happened here. People were pointing out kind of Easter eggs. There was like a glass of alcohol that she had and the ice cubes were kind of like angled to that you yeah. saw that they were diamond shaped. But yes. also, like you said, like cable pops up and he was trying to prevent it from happening. So is that what's going to happen? And it doesn't really matter if her diamond powers kicked in because we're going to get like a little time something that you know, basically undoes all of that. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't enough for me to say that they did her proper because she wasn't the focus. So that you know, I, I just, I man, I, all I kept hearing in my in my head was, "Emma, please." <laughs> that, that post where you where you, uh, where you was talking, yeah. "Emma, please." I'm like, "Yes, the drip she's serving right." Now. I can't wait. I, we saw like, something. I'm just like, "What is she?" I can't mm, what designer is mm, like that was me just very frustrated because I could not see what Emma Frost was wearing not the point of the episode all the drama is going on I'm like but what is Emma Frost wearing like that was that was basically me love it love it love it all right well yes what did you take away what were your I, I got a feeling I know what your takeaway is yes but talk to us about what you uh remember most and love the most about the episode um, first and foremost, I am um, I'm very heartbroken. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But um, I did like the, to see the dynamic between Madeline Pryor and Jean and, uh, yeah. and Scott and their love triangle and how his ass got caught cheating. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then everyone in the whole house heard their you know business. So I thought that was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Um, then she was like, go, Scott, go be with her. And then he quickly turned it around. And was like, what about you? Do you even love me? And you know, a couple minutes before she did, she didn't kiss Wolverine. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Did his ass see that or something? Cause I'm like, how the fuck did he know? That's all I have to say about that. Um, but yeah, this uh this episode was very, very interesting. And I'm uh, I'm excited to kind of see where see the where hell it leads back because what the hell happened? Yo, man, interesting is not even enough to describe like it was uh, it was messy. It was there was there was a little bit of trash as they was airing out the laundry. Uh, yes, not just for the house, but for the world. There was a whole CNN interview going on. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, yo, hold on, bro. Like Beast just trying to get his little word out. What's going on, Sides? Good to see you, homeboy. Um, and so yeah, so there's a lot going on with this. Yeah, uh, Nolly, what about you? What do you take most away about uh, from this episode? You oh, you're muted. I love everyone's mess. Everyone's mess. <laughs> Jean, Scott, Madeline. I cannot. It's Scott. Oh, psychic rapport with another woman in front of my salad. Oh my god. Yo, and I, I was a bisexual king. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, man. It, it it was a whole thing. It yeah, yeah, yeah. And man, man, it, it it we even started to uncover the whole of everything that's going on. Now, Ty, you're just popping in. Uh, we're just asking what our favorite or most memorable takeaways from this most recent episode of X-Men 97 was. Now I know you watched it and you dressed today like you showed up to battle rappers. Uh, it's just it's like, it's, it's, it's like everybody from the 313. So you, anyway, but what's going on, man? Like how, how you feel? What was the, your takeaway from uh, Genosha uh, this episode? Probably the same as everybody else's. I mean, this is, there was a lot going on. Um, I think uh, Xavier's uh, school should be named Xavier's school of, polyamory uh he, he looks like yeah, this, 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 this these episodes every like from from start start to finish at this point is uh spotlighting all of these wonderful relationships that can be can unfold when when everyone's in agreement uh or sometimes not uh you know and um you know that man this scott this gene this madeline this uh you know magneto this you know, Remy, this uh, rogue. I mean, it's a lot going. It's a lot going on, man, over here in 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 the world right now. And they, it's unfolded right before our eyes. So I'm 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 loving it. Like I watched the episode probably three times. I watched it back to back, and then I watched wow. it again uh, last night just to just to kind of just make sure that I was seeing everything that I thought I was seeing. And 
there was a lot of like there was a point where Magneto was talking to, to Rogue and he said, We <laughs> he said yeah. we we and he and he emphasized the we part. And I, I just that stood out to me because he was like, Oh, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get rid of 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 what you got going on over here. I mean, that can still happen. <laughs> but this, but this needs to happen as well. Like, I just want you to know that I accept, <laughs> despite the, the little jabs that I throw at your man, yeah. I accept that he's your man. And yep. that's cool. Let's just all work together to make this thing work. And and, and I was like, wow. How, yeah. how, very, how very thoughtful of Magneto to make sure that he takes into consideration that there was something established before he got here. So I was like, hey man, uh, Magneto is, is starting to really make his, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, Magneto, I'm, I'm on board. Uh, so, but yeah, man, it was a lot to unpack, man. And I'm sure we'll go over that, man. But yeah, I love the episode, man. And I love what they're doing. And and kudos to whoever's doing the music, the soundtrack, because yeah. when, uh, when, when Rogue came through in that red dress, uh, listen, oh. I'm, I'm, listen, hold up, hold up. Listen, I don't know if you know, this, but that song that they played, that happy, whatever that joke, that has played in every erotic movie. That has <laughs> what? I swear to God, I swear, listen, I, I, I don't look, I know I, I've heard things, I, I never watched it. <laughs> uh, I heard that is the song that they use in most erotic movies and oh you um, heard oh, okay you've you heard. heard okay yeah i've, I've heard yeah. i've heard you i've heard no oh, you okay. said you googled that was the most like that would have been more yeah. believable you know yeah. what yeah. you know what you know what that part too yeah, that part. <laughs> yo yo magneto is giving pure hugh hefner sugar daddy vibes and i'm with it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i'm not even tripping there was a little bit of i mean i ain't gonna lie we're not i don't know if we should discuss uh I don't know if this is going too far, but I, the word grooming felt a little appropriate. Like he met her with through her mother. You know, that was a little, it was a little, you know, I was a little weirded out by that, but somehow we are where we are. Um, and I also thought it was real, uh, well, yeah, still, but I mean, I don't know, man. I, I didn't know, I didn't know the timeline for when they met, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking of Rogue that's just being younger, but either way, Magneto still an old and ass fuck. She's in her 20s when they met and they have their whole history. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I mean, Thank he's you. younger too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he still got a full head of white hair. You know what I'm saying? Like when they met, like he's a he's whole. He's still old in it. We don't know what what age it changed. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like you know, Tamora's, you know, the Simmons, you know, she had a whole thing this week, and it, you know, there was some, you know, anyway, you know, we ain't gonna go. Have through you that. ever stuck uh, your finger in a, in a in an electric socket? Your hair will turn white as well. Uh, oh, he doesn't <laughs> have hair tie. What you need to be more sensitive. He doesn't have hair. I don't. Oh. I don't. It's that true. true. Uh, true. <laughs> the best part true. was that you had to wait to think about that for a second. I'm dying. Oh my All god. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, because you know, I I got like two or three because I ain't shaving a little bit. But anyway, uh, so um, and I also thought real quick, Tiffy, did you catch the shade Magneto threw at Gambit in the freaking in the jet in the Blackbird? He was like, you know, um. If this plane if something happens to this blackbird nigga, you cannot fly. Please shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, and it took it's him so down. many words. That and that's the one thing that it got me from the episode. I know the episode is very serious. It tugs at the heartstrings. I'm looking at things like why can't Gambit say things like I or me? He's always Gambit is gonna do this, and Gambit <laughs> gotta go to the store. And then here come Magneto as the master of magnetism. Can you just say? I like <laughs> y'all dirty. Y'all be pontificating. Right, you like freaking Cookie Monster. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, where did you learn pronouns? Like, what school is they teaching? Like, but I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've always loved, I've always loved Gambit's like that Cajun that hey, share more not me. You know, Gambit don't. I, Gambit see you this and raise you that. You know, ain't gonna do this and do like he could have been. One of young money <laughs> could have been like in the no limit soldiers, but yeah, man, I know that hits you a certain way. So let's take it back to the instant. Let's let's go through this. Uh um um uh, uh chronologically, we go to Genosha. All right, we're finally in the presence. They try to basically make Magneto the king, and he's like, all right, well, uh, if I could have a queen, 
then I'll run with it. And Rose was like, man, you know, I ain't really, you know, trying to do it all like that. And she's like, look, I ain't gonna do this without you type thing. And he's like, all right, fine. And then right when they start to kind of let that sink in, because they basically, and this is where I get a little confused. Did they, did Gambit and Rogue break up or did they just establish that they're no longer going to like have the little, the, the little crush or they had a talk where they definitively was like, all right, this is what's going on. What, what exactly was that? Like, did, did she just say, look, bro, I appreciate everything we've been through, but you know what I'm saying? Sorry. I got to go see you when I see you. What you think, Nolly? Do you think that Rogue thought that Gambit was just loving him a little too much and that she needed to boom, slow him down a little bit? Or what was that all about? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Rogue has had her plan um, and just didn't communicate well. And Remy took it as a breakup. And that's why we had the whole third person speech. I love him, but Tiffy's right. I, I work, I works. Um, and I just, you know, because if you saw the episode, she doesn't choose Magneto, but look, I was a little too high when I watched the episode. <laughs> I was, I was not crying. I was sobbing. Oh. Yo, there's the a mountain in the back. Is the mountain trying to put you? Is the mountain trying to put did. you on blast? He did. <laughs> from the background, you can comment on the studio audience. Mountain, what are you doing, man? At the end of the episode, he turned to look at me, and I got crocodile tears coming down. I was like, she can't feel him. <laughs> had no business on a black in the end of the episode the like that. Like, no. Why would they mean. do that to the song? I was Yo, a mess. Tippy, a mess. Tippy. That that is that is a huge acknowledgement, in my opinion. That conversation that they had was so illustrative mm -hmm. of the complexity of their relationship, right? Mm -hmm. She loves Gambit, she yeah. wants to be with Gambit, but they can't even hold hands, they can't even kiss. And one of the main sure. reasons, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, sure. Oh, uh, it's okay, be that as it may. I'm so sorry. I Come can't on. get over how messy she was. So let's say that that was her plan the entire time. She was going to... Why can't y'all fucking communicate that all of this could have been communicated? Hey, Remy, you know, um, sugar, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to go tell him no because it's not my bag, but you wait right here. Whatever she had to do. Instead, she she flies, Magneto flies. Something else Gambit cannot do. Rub it in this nigga's face. She just doesn't dance with him on the dance floor. She dances with him above the dance floor so that everybody can see them touch and everybody can see them kiss and then oh. she tells magneto no what was the reason what was the reason so it's just it's just it's just there was no reason for her to do any of that you could have communicated your intentions to gambit and you could have let magneto down on the fucking ground, it's just weird. but you wanted to kiss. It. I want to show everybody. Look at God damn it! My name is my name is Rogue, and I have been kissed. Like why did you get some to prove? And like so, to me, all of the heartfeltness of that moment was just like, but why, girl? You're so fucking messy. Like, oh my god, messy! And just after she goes has this combo, yes, you had your hand up, and then Ty, what's up? So I think I think it's maybe she didn't say anything because those two are always fucking fighting for top dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they they do it oh in front God. of everybody. You know what I mean? Like they're always you know, like they're like, yo, I yeah, got her now. You know what I'm saying? Like she that's immature. That's immature. <laughs> but that's maybe maybe she was trying to, you know, derail that. You know, she was trying to softly let Magneto down, you know, in her own way to let him know, like, hey. I'm feeling Gambit, but at the same point, I need Gambit to understand we can't touch. I can touch him, and I still choose your ass because of our connection. You see, mm -hmm. you see so, what happened? The nigga died before he had a chance oh to God. connect that plan, which is why maybe we should just communicate up front because you never know when life is gonna come at you. So, so we can, it could be a it could be a, a, a sentinel coming and killing everyone you know, or it could be that you bring your 
ankle. Maybe your phone dies. Anything can happen. But <laughs> <laughs> valid, valid points, valid points there, Tiffy. I'm just saying though, you know what I'm saying? Like if things would have happened the way they would have happened if cable never showed up, if the damn fucking sentinels didn't, that sentinel eye creature thing sure. didn't show up, you know what I'm saying? He technically would still be alive and she could, you know, let her know that, hey, I cho- in front of the world, I chose you, but I'm still going to, you know, do this with him because it's, you know what I'm saying, right for the world. And if Gambit had a modicum of self-respect, he'd be like, bitch, go be the queen of Genosha then. Because <laughs> you, know, you ain't going to embarrass me publicly than talking about, but baby, I did it. I, I still choose you. No, go choose that nigga. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. But you guys think about it. Think about how compatible her and Magneto are. They can touch. They fly. You see what I'm saying? Like, not, then, Baby girl, you're not telling me anything I don't know. I understand. But then, I understand. But like, but, you know, opposite I'm to saying track, it was though. That's, that's, that's the way choice. that she went about it. It was fucked up. Was. Yo, right. but can we give some respect for the word modicum? I th- holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> like the vocab- vocabulary has got me on the list right now. Yo, but also Ty. Oh, you, oh shoot, my bad. Ty, you said you had something to say. My bad. I'm playing musical screens today. <clears throat> yeah, it was. It, it was. It goes right back to why uh, Xavier decided to put Magneto in charge in the first place because they both had this same mindset of polyamory. Uh, he basically. <laughs> He look, look, look! No, 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 no! Just hear me out. So All rules in, point in, in, the, in the converse, in the converse, see, because see, because again, we're we're looking at Rogue as being a not necessarily young, but maybe naive in 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 this case. And so she's looking at it from the aspect of, I love I love Gambit, but I don't want him to leave me when he finds out that I I I, I smashed this older guy. But the older guy just told me it's okay if you just tell uh, Gambit that and and just, you know, get this together to where we all can, you know, coexist. So she went, took that information that she just got from uh, Magneto and presented it to uh, Gambit. And Gambit's reaction was, I'm not going to be part of this bullshit. <laughs> now, if you want to go. Is that what he said? No, I, no, I'm I'm paraphrasing, bro. Okay. Okay. What, I'm saying, what I'm what I'm what I'm saying what I'm saying is he basically said we can be friends, which yeah. lets you know I'm not I'm not going to totally disassociate myself from you. But if you think for one minute that I'm about to be privy, part of this shit where he gets to smash and I don't, I'm not going for that. And we can be cool. And then she was like. All right, I'm left with this. I'm left with Magneto. She goes in that moment. She's looking fly. She kisses him. But the sparks and the energy ain't there like it is for Gambit. And so Mm. in that moment, she realized, I don't want to lose Gambit. I've been happy. He's been here for me for everything. I don't want to lose him. So she she pulled out of the whole the the thruple deal that he that he presented her with. And so at that point, she now has to resurrect this relationship with Gambit, but she just didn't have time because, yeah. you know, all hell broke loose. But I, but I'm I'm seeing this as being a part of the show that you see these relationships unfolding with multiple people in love with multiple people, and you know what I'm saying like you 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 have the whole dynamic with Scott, Jean, and Madeline. You have the whole dynamic with Scott. Gene and Wolverine. You have the whole dynamic with Madeline, Gambit, and Rogue, and whoever else decides to get it. Because the only person who ain't been privy to none of this shit is Beast. And you want to talk about about Hugh Hefner vibes? If 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 he don't give you Hugh Hefner vibes the way he sits on that couch and and talks, uh, uh, yes. She look look. What did what did he tell old girl? Blue blushes too. Did he say that? He did. He did say that. He did. He and he was blushing when he, he said, said he said, you know, blue blushes too. <laughs> nah. Beef is, more, oh, is Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's not freaking Hugh Hefter, man. I don't know what you talk about. But you did bring up some points. The poly keeps is going on. But before we go any further, Steph is 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 also watching the show. And I know you may not be as caught up as this, but just what are your vibes thus far um, for the episodes and everything that you've seen? Like, I, I know, 
Um, you're, um, I think, three episodes in or something like that? Yeah, I'm on episode three. I love it. I love the nostalgia. I love that it's set in the 90s. I love that episode one opened up with a Latinx mutant who then had two Black mutants come to the rescue. So it's just like people of color at the forefront. You know, I'm obviously obsessed with Storm, like most uh, Black women, nerds especially. But obviously people will be like, oh, it's just because she's the the one that everybody knows it about. But like, I feel like this series really put respect on her name. I appreciated seeing her get the Omega level threat warning before she came Ooh. in. I wish Angela Bassett had voiced her. That's the only thing. The voice actress is incredible, but I just keep wanting it to be Queen Ramonda. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm really enjoying it and I'm probably going to get caught up today. So I'm looking forward to to being fully informed about everything. If I may, I just want to uh got Steph out because Steph actually um gave me a, a whole host of Funko Pops. Um uh some of which are actually Storm, but I got them on my Black Panther shrine right now. I can't show you, but every time I see Storm on screen, I start thinking, yeah, Steph gave me some of them Jones from back then. <laughs> um, but I do want to put some respect on Miss Allison Seeley Smith's name, the actual original voice actress for Storm, who uh is I mean basically as, as Tiffy has informed us, the overwhelming majority of these characters have been reprised from their original voice actorship. So, and just a little bit of a little bit of a uh, announcement. She did reach out to the new Blurred Order and would like to uh, conduct an interview. Uh, it may not happen immediately, but we are in works with having Miss Addison C.D. Smith come on with her Barbados voice of majestic uh, you know, all that good stuff. I can't I can't do it as well as she does. Um, but let's move along from uh as oh, oh also just real quick before we move on from Storm. So what is your thoughts about the Latin love explosion Latin? <laughs> going on? He's not, with, Latin, uh, no. he's not Latin. I mean he's he's indigenous. Yeah. Indig he's okay, indigenous. all right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I, uh, I'm sorry. But well well what do you what's your thoughts on uh, I'm so glad we have fact checkers uh, uh, on the panel because I don't want to get that word out. Uh, what, what, Steph, is your, uh, you know, thoughts about the, the, the love here, the, the, this, uh, this budding romance? I mean, he's not white, so you know, <laughs> there's, there's that. I, I always want to see Storm with the black man. I always want to see black people in love together on screen. But it's cool, you know. If she likes it, I love it. I just, I, I want to see her with the black man is my opinion understood okay all right uh, well we always count on step to keep it 100 you know what i'm saying but in the realm of love interest storm is the, what's up ty you saying something no no I, I just had a question real quick because i you know i i did take the time to watch x-men before x-men 97 came out am, am, am i wrong or is nightcrawler not rogue's brother by uh like I don't know, stepbrother or whatever. Isn't isn't Nightcrawler the son of um Mystique? Mystique. Mystique. And yeah. isn't Mystique also the adopted mother of Rogue? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know how it's playing out in the cartoon because I just don't remember. But in the comics, Mystique is Nightcrawler's mother, but they also adopt Rogue. So that's what I, I thought. Mm-hmm. The only reason I, add, I I said that is because when she saw Nightcrawler, it didn't seem like I saw my stepbrother or my brother. It just was like, oh, hey. <laughs> like, I've always been confused at, at that as a kid. As a kid, yeah. And I didn't know about the relationship in the comics till I was a bit older. So I'm not sure what the relationship is between them in the, in the show. But there's a lot of talks that... Um, the UN representative, and I'm not remembering her name, that Trish that's Tilby. actually... Hmm? Trish Tilby. Okay, I no, took Trish over is about the, is the reporter. Oh, she... Um, what's her name? Um, um, the one that was always getting her... Ex Val Cooper. Thank you, Omar. I... I text Omar and I said... I sent him the Leonardo DiCaprio meme and I said, Mystique, you blue bitch. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So there are a lot of people that b believe that she's actually Mystique and had a reaction when they were talking about Rogue, and that was one of the giveaways for it. So, yeah, because in 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 the original X Men, there was an episode where Mystique 
basically told Nightcrawler that I'm your mother and also told Rogue that I'm your, I was, you know, she showed her the face that I guess she used when she adopted her and was like, yo, I'm your mother too. So I, like they, they both were aware of mm-hmm. it. And so that's why I've, I thought that maybe that kind of, you know, transition to maybe X-Men 97. Yeah, X-Men 97, because they, they, they did it. But the fact that when they saw each other, it wasn't really no, like, brotherly sisterly like hey bro well, like they were, were they supposed to say hey brother hey sister or because they well, i mean very fondly but i don't greet my brother hey bro. actually yes i do I, really <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I got siblings too and i wouldn't just be like you know especially if i haven't seen my sibling in years because they apparently they hadn't seen him in a long time did, so, did they even he, interact really like rogue and, and nightcrawler i don't even remember them like they, like really they, the interaction was when they got there and they saw him, he poofed her and 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 I don't even know what to call it, but he poofed her and um Gambit. and uh and Gambit together on top of a thing to overlook uh Genosha. But it was never no, it was like it was more like, hey, uh, you know, furry friend, like we ain't seen you in forever. Right. And that was <laughs> have a relationship relationship because faded one in the chat pointed out yeah mystique and destiny raise rogue mystique abandoned nightcrawler as a child which would mean him and rogue wouldn't really have a bond i don't know if they ever showed that or how it played out in the cartoon but that's the way that it is in the comics like they're not raised together they just happen to be like siblings by circumstance like we have and, and not biological at that so yeah, so it's not like that's my bro. It's like, well, that's my brother or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, you know, it is what it is. Like, oh yeah, but, it turns out we're we're siblings. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess yeah, yeah. It's like when you find out your dad had a whole other kid. You know what I'm saying? And he, he was raised on the other side of the country. He's like, I guess we, I guess we together, whatever. But, but that that brings me to now. You got me confused. Like when they showed the flashback of Rogue meeting Magneto, and the mother was the one that introduced them. Was that Mystique? Mm-hmm. It should have been Mystique. Yeah. So it was Mystique just uh, cloaking herself in one of her in one of her forms. Holy yeah. fuck, bro! You just exploded my brain just now. Okay, I do. Go ahead, Nolly. There's a scene in the episode where Nightcrawler and Rogue get hit during like the battle, and the UN lady's face, like mm-hmm. she like looks hurt, and so that's why I was like, Mystique, you ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> you well, I take issue with something else, and you brought this up. I'm glad you did, Ty. Um, they kept. I think it was was it Gambit. I think or who was it? They kept calling uh Kurt Furball, and he's yeah. not furry. He's just blue. Why do they keep making him? Fur- he's not a furry dude. He's they not a hairy. Like they treated him like an animal. My man, some some the blue dude petted him on his petted petted him like pet the dude on the head. I was like, they do that. Oh, Benjo, no, they pet. You know, <laughs> human but yeah, he's furry. He is furry. I mean. I know he has a furry hair and maybe arms, but when I look at Nightcrawler, I don't get like, you know, like the same vibe. As, yeah, he's not beast furry. Yeah, yeah. Beast it, it's, a, it's a fine it's a little, little short hair like, chihuahua situation. I was going to say <laughs> like a chihuahua. You, you, like you, you have like a long, you know, long hair like a German Shepherd, or he'll be shorter. Like a German like Shepherd? That. Okay, all right, all right. I, I just, I don't know. I was feeling that some sort of way. I was like, they're, they're disrespecting the fuck out of my man. I don't know if y'all remember, but back when we first were getting prepared for this, Nightcrawler was the one I was most excited to see. And so when he pulled up, I was like, hell yeah! Now he's on and popping. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely pulled his weight this episode as. We go from the introduction phase, which is the happy phase, and then go to battle mode where everybody, oh, shit, now shit has to go down. But before we get into that, one last messy thing we have to discuss. I'm just going to throw this out there and y'all jump on it. And y'all tell me what just whoever the first wants to speak. I'm just going to put this up here and just let you talk. What about What's going it? on? What, what what are we doing? What 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 the fuck? What about it? <laughs> what, what about what? it? She she should have done worse. I'll jump in. She should have done worse. Uh, oh my god! Damn. She kiss the man. All yep. she did was kiss the man. Uh, because 
all she did was kiss him. And and this is why, to me, neither one of them is right. Scott's wrong for having a psychic affair, but it's yep. understandable. He lost his son. We see throughout mm -hmm. the episode that him and Gene still are not talking, yet Madeline was the only person that understands what he went through. Mm -hmm. He lost his son. That's traumatizing. Yep. The person that he should be connecting with his wife is shutting him out because from her end, her mind's been violated. Her body's been violated. She literally does not know what's real and what isn't. And her mm -hmm husband, the person in this world that's supposed to love her and trust her and know her the most didn't even notice. Well, what'd you say not only the other day that the, 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 grip. the, Down to the, grip. Grip. the grip. There's no that way grip. Mr. Sinister made the grip the same. With, so no yeah. Way. And again, we can't, we know that we can't blame <laughs> Scott for that. But from Jean's perspective, yeah, she's feeling a little bit lost. She's feeling a little bit neglected. And then here's Logan with his undying love. She better than me. You had a baby, Scott. I'm gonna go have a baby too. Like we can do <laughs> one one on each other and it could just be tit for tat and we can just do this until one of us decide that they don't wanna do it no more. Also real quick, David Hall, that's in the YouTube chat. Your comments have been actually kind of disturbing to me. They've been super misogynistic and I feel like not great at all. I just wanna point it out. If I've made a weird face looking over at the chat, David Hall, it's because of you. It's because of you. <laughs> and I'd appreciate it, Vince, if his comments specifically didn't make it onto the screen anymore. Okay, say less. Uh, sorry, David, you've been voted off the island, but uh, thank you for <laughs> thank you for participating. Uh, but but no thanks if you're gonna offend any of our cast members. Um, I am I am uh curious though about first of all, revenge babies are not a thing. Let's not let's uh, <laughs> let's, let's let's not. Start are you sure? Are you just a novella? Have you <laughs> seen you. some of these shows? Babies by <laughs> retribution. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. And I'm also like, there's so many. I, I was just, I guess, in my mind, the Jean Grey from the show is like above that. And I'm learning that she's not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she's always been like above the fray, you know. I, I kind of put her on on par with 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 Charles, but this episode was like, fuck that. I'm just Gene, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was like, and then even look, look at his face. Like, he's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Even Logan's he's like. I'm not even ready for that. He's like, wait, <laughs> that, I just pine. I never get what I want. This, whoa. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, Scott, Gene, those are the rules. Like, that's that's the way the world works. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's just breaking like, the rules. I don't actually want you to stop. <laughs> it really was. They ahead, did I was just going to say that. Um. Like in Gene's defense, Gene has always known that 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 Logan has had feelings towards her. But I think that her coming back was the first time that she actually had got a chance to experience his emotions on a mental level, on a real psychic level. Like she actually went into his and was like, you her response to his his emotions were, I didn't know you felt like that. Mm -hmm. And he told her it was deeper. It's deeper than, you know what I mean? Go deeper. I think he told her go deeper at that point or whatever. So, so when you realize and you have more, it's not, it's not about just knowing it's about feeling at this point. So now she feels his emotion. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So Ooh. that moment, that moment of her kissing him was her tapping into the real emotion that he's showing her or showed her. Uh, in that in that vision, because like it threw him off, like we all see, we all saw. He was like, "Whoa, you know, like," and it, and it, and she's like, "What, you know? I'm sorry. I thought this is what you wanted based on the feelings and emotions that I I detected when I did the psychic connection." So it, it it's 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 a it's a real throwaway, man. But I mean, what's good for the the goose is good for the gander. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if 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 Scott is because because it, I think it's. It's one thing to say that he's comforting, uh, you know, Madeline because of them losing their son. But that I don't know if comforting encompasses us probably about that. Do something strange for a little change uh, it, like uh, before before um, Gene pulled up because they was embraced in a kiss. And and if that's comforting. Then what's coming next? Um, oh, you know what's coming next. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't and know what's coming next. That's why she was so pissed. <laughs> so did Jay. So did Jay. <laughs> wait, wait, listen, for, wait, Scott and Scott and Madeline or Gene and Logan? Uh, Scott and Madeline. Oh, Scott and Madeline. Well, 
Mm-hmm. Well, Jean, yeah, Jean, Jean knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, she, Jean knew it was coming. <laughs> Between them, when she saw, when she tapped into that uh that psychic connection, and then the fact that she hit him with the, how long has this been going on? Like, yo, oh, so <laughs> that's what drew me. I was like, so this dude can't think in his mind? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm so fair. I can't think my own thoughts. I'm with you physically. I can't fantasize. I can't I can't watch a video. I can't I'm out. Do- I'm out. But what was I don't know. That was a little deeper in thought, though, because you know what I'm saying? Like he was submersed into some kind of reality where they were about to get it on. And that's why she was so pissed. That's why she was like. He that was our thing. How is no. that? That's Tiffy. If it was your thing and your man was doing it with somebody else, you caught his ass. How would you feel? I'd say that's why I should have gone through his fucking phone in the first place. I was <laughs> saying something that I didn't have no business. <laughs> why was she somewhere she ain't got no business being? She went through his phone and saw something she wasn't supposed to see. <laughs> yo, yes. Oh, Comment yes. of the day. Hey, yo, I, that. Clip, clip all day, bro. Yes, let that be a PSA for y'all. You go through my mind at your own defense, at your own expense. Excuse me, y'all know what you. I mean, because think about that. It was good. There has not been a time all of us on this screen have been in relationships, and somebody walked by, and we had to pretend like we didn't see him. Imagine you couldn't do that. <laughs> Imagine. You could. I know you're thinking about looking at that bitch. You better not look at that. You better not talk to him. <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy i was a freak before i came into this relationship i'm a freak during this relationship and then i'm a freak after so i'm out of this you it's okay but if i'm <laughs> you know, it's not. Yo, and, I and the worst part the worst part is i'm really thinking about you she was like she so she really berated him about Oh, so you gonna fall in love with a piece of me? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I fell in love with all of you. All of you. It's like the twin sister. It's not all of her. It's a half of her. It looks like her. That's not her. Well, it sure felt like her, so I don't know. <laughs> it got to know. But that's the thing. It's not a twin sister. It is a clone. clone. It's yeah. a clone. But you first of all, and Roberto, when we talk about me, of course I would condone. Fuck you, Roberto. Because <laughs> I, said they were both wrong. I said that they were both wrong. So to, in my defense, ain't nobody <laughs> right in this situation. But what was he supposed to do? That was his wife. Don't nobody know when they got switched, but it could have been a very, very long time. What was he supposed to do? And so after he experiences this trauma again, he's just supposed to go to life as normal, but Jean's hurt. She ain't talking to him. He's just supposed to swallow that. You know, Charles ain't give him access to therapy because then they can't <laughs> even the no more. So he's just supposed to work through this by himself. His woman won't talk to him. And I don't blame him. <laughs> it had just been a thruple. It had been, I don't know how you follow that. He could have had two clones. It's not weird because, again, they're not siblings. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like that could have been the solution for everybody. Take you and your sister wives. Now give that one a baby. And <laughs> Yo! Hold on. Yeah. I got to go to Steph. Oh, oh my God. You expect more from the leader of your X Men? Don't make me pull. I, I, I will. Don't make me speak for Omar because Omar is not here. Because what Scott Summers does with his personal life has nothing to do with what he does as the leader of the X Men. Please don't make me defend Scott Summers on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Omar is normally pretty good at, at capping for capping for capping, if if I'll say so. But um, but thanks to you, at least he's in the comments. What's going on, Omar? Hope all is well. Um, but I do I do want to ask Steph same question. Now, Steph, we know that you're a romantic, all right? Now, you've been granted the gift of mind, not control, but let's just say telepathy. And you're walking arm in arm with your man down 42nd Street in Manhattan. Y'all just left the comedy club. You killed it. And then some little pretty loud parent thing walks the other way. And you can sense that he just wants to look that way. What that ass looked like. I don't want to involve it. I'm just... 
habitually I'm just a fan of beautiful melanated people. What do you do in that situation, Steph? Do you turn your mind off? Do you accept that this is just human nature? Or do you bitch? I know the fuck you ain't thinking about looking at that. What what is your reaction, Steph? Oh, I'm I'm absolutely not in his mind. I'm watching, like, if he does make the active choice to turn around and look, I'm like, oh, really? Like, just, I'm sitting right here, that's all he's going to do. But I'm not, I'm not going in his head. I'm probably thinking about it, too. I mean, and that's that's fine. That's normal. No, I, I'll go through a phone, but I'm not going to go through anybody. <laughs> well, hold on. Tiffy, what's worse, going through a phone or going through a mind? They are both equally bad, then. <laughs> Like that's just because because uh, psychically, <laughs> psychically, I feel like you it, 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 they're 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 the same essentially. We as humans, we only have access to a phone. Jean Grey, I think, has the same problem that Charles does. Just because you are psychic and you have the ability to go into to people's mind, y'all have an issue with the concept of consent. Just because Scott's mind is available for you to read, the, the phone was sitting on the, the nightstand, it was not yours to pick up and go through, Gene. Oh. So, so, so that's how I feel. I am not excusing Scott's actions. He, and you know, all jokes and things aside, he was wrong. But as far as Gene and where she shouldn't have been looking, that was his mind. That was his mind that she was tiptoeing through and saw something. Sorry, Steph. What are you saying? I got to say, going through a phone and going through a brain are not the same thing. Now, you're wrong if you go in this man's notes app and read his private journal. But if you're looking through his text messages that he actively decided to type and send, that is now action. It's the difference between this man's pissing me off. I want to text my ex. I should see what he's up to because I know he's going to talk to me nice and make me feel good. I can feel that and think that. And personally, as long as I don't do shit about it, that's nobody's business. But once I make the move of, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and send this man a text message. Now, that's when I'm wrong. So thoughts, think all the bad shit you want. As long as you have the self-control and discipline to not act on it. Once you act on it, that's when we have a relationship problem. Okay. All right. And say, if you say so, Steph, I don't know, man. Uh, I, ahead, see, I, see, I see what you're saying. I just can't get completely on board with it. To me, it's the same. The, the phone's on the nightstand. She picked it up and she was like, hmm, tiptoe. And she went all through his, his business and like, I don't know. Uh, you're speaking to somebody that sounds like uh, has gone through many a phone, uh, Steph, but I, you know, don't answer. I, uh, listen, I, I have not gone through many a phone. I've gone through two and both times, <laughs> but, 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 but because, because I knew that I was being lied to. I don't like being gaslit. I, I don't like being lied to. You're looking me in my face and you're saying something that every cell in my body says is not true. And, and every time I did it, I found proof that proved what I believed to be true was true. I've never checked the phone and been wrong, ever. So it is wow. very much just a matter yeah. of, yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah. to show you the evidence that you're a fucking liar. We're not going to keep spinning in this cycle. I don't uh, just check phones for my own personal, is there something? I know there is something, and I will get the proof if someone is lying to my face. Plenty of phones I've not checked because I haven't needed to. But if I can feel that you're being dishonest, yeah. I'm a, I'm a prove that what I believe is correct. Same thing. I, I, anytime I've gone through a phone, I've found what I was looking for. Yep. But yep. my takeaway has been, if I feel the need at, at, at my age now, if yep. I feel the need to go through your phone, I don't need the proof at this point. I'm not going to invade. Ooh, wow. I'm going to, I, it, yeah. it, 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 if, if I feel the need to go through your phone, we already have an issue. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. That's that's just my approach to it. I do have to go for um do you mind blocking David again? Because I don't know what kind of big loser energy he's on where he gets blocked off his off of one name and then makes another one to come back. How but that David it's also you're, not misspelled, it's literally a rogue it's, shirt. It's, yeah. like, it's an X-Men reference. For real. How the hell like, how, how <laughs> how you go obsessed with the show that you gotta go and make up a whole nother I mean, thank you. And I'm Thanks sorry that I got so under your skin, David, for calling you out for your misogynistic comments that you had to come back and continue to, to comment. But you got to not be a fan of me like that. You wow. have to take the hint and just go where you are not welcome anymore. Just leave. So Man. I don't know if you can still hear this or if you're making another account to come back. <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. Like, it's, it's, it's very thirsty type energy. And your comments 
weren't that funny. That's the thing. You could kind of be sexist and misogynistic if if the joke's a little funny. There's some room for jokes like that, sure. But your jokes also weren't funny, and that's the issue. So yeah. Uh, and I've never banned somebody twice in the same show. Uh, you broke a record today, asshole. Uh, uh, fuck you, and uh, we we'll hope to never see you again. Uh, Tiff, definitely, Tiffy, Sorry, stay as long as you like if you can. But I did have one more thing to add with that. Isn't it true that if you go looking, you'll find what you're looking for? Not always. I mean, because I guess you could check a phone and there's there's nothing there and you've worked yourself up for no reason. So I don't know, maybe for some people that is a good reason to check a phone. But to me, it will always come back down to trust and honesty and communication. And if you don't have those in a relationship to begin with, Mm -hmm. A phone is not going to to fix or solve or make anything worse. That that base, that foundation is already cracked. So yeah. that's just how I feel on it. I just have real quick. Yeah. I don't check phones anymore. I'm at a place in my life now where I'm like, if I feel like I need to check your phone, we should not be together. But the reason I have done it is because I don't like for people to talk to me and treat me like I'm stupid. You're not going to tell me, oh, you're tripping. How could you imagine that you're making that up? I'm not. And I'm going to prove to you that I'm not before we end this. I need you to know that I know that you're a liar. And this is facts now. <laughs> I need you to know and that. I understand I'm that. That's the reason why I can't okay. ignore trolls in my comments. Like, Tiffy, just ignore them. No, because I need to tell them that they're stupid because they're not going to think that they got one on me when they're right. the stupid one. I got to tell them that they're stupid. So <laughs> same mentality. Salute for that. I am curious about your uh, your take on the uh, on the end of the show, but if you have to go, it's it's fine. I understand. Um, Bad Ty, you did have your hand up and had something you wanted to say. <laughs> no, nah, I was just I just wanted to um, you know kind of elaborate on what the the ladies was talking about as far as like the phone and the and the mind. Um, the phone, the phone, the phone uh, conversation as far as like when you're looking into checking on someone that you know that's usually confirmation or a proof or proof of intent. But when you're actually in somebody's mind, that you know at all of their deepest, darkest, whatever, at that point, you don't need, it's not about the proof, finding the proof. The proof is all there because now you can now, you know, discern what it is that they're actually, you know, thinking of. So she, you know, when she came and she asked Scott, do you love her, Scott? She already knew the answer to that. Right, right. You already knew that he loved her because in his mind, he loves this. He loves you. Right. And this is you again. We're, we're arguing about you. It's, you. <laughs> it's like, it's that, like this is, this, that's the part. That's, it's like when, when I heard Stephanie say, if, if he turned back and looks at that ass, if he walked by a window and looked at, you know, not, not, I'm not going to say your ass, but if he looked at your body, in in the in the in the mirror, you're not gonna be mad. You're gonna be like, "Oh man, Ooh, you know, man look point. at you looking at me." But you know, what I'm saying this is where we're at. Wow. He's literally, he's literally drooling and and all of that over you. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you keep saying that, but that's not true. He knows it's, it. It's true. Hey, stop it! Is it I, 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 I gotta agree with Ty. I gotta agree with Ty. Ty, right. Ty are you what? I agree with Ty. I, I it, 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 because he's not wrong. Because, it, not. because it, it's strange, but it's it's that's why the situation is so fucked up. He is so deeply in love with Madeline because Madeline is Jean. He didn't love another woman. He thought it was the love of his life the entire time. That's why this shit is so sinister. That's Thank why you. it's a fucked up situation. But I, I gotta you, agree with I see them what you too. did right there. I see what you did right there, Tiffany. <laughs> And also right. Roberto, just because Roberto said in the chat, have a great like just so that you know there was that that fuck you was very fun and, and all <laughs> yes, thank you for saying that. Goodbye, y'all. Tiffy, always bye, good to bye, see bye. you. Tiffy. And ladies and gentlemen, bye, Tiffy, Tiffy Star Child. Make sure y'all go follow and like every single thing that she posts. In fact, do that as soon as the show is over. Uh Steph, you were saying something. Uh just I'm I'm on Ty's side with this one too. I have had several uh situationships which could have turned into more that did not because mm -hmm. other parties were interested in dealing with multiple individuals intimately and that's just not a thing i'm into i don't share i'm not going to be shared but if i had a literal clone if i was with somebody who was just like steph you're so amazing that i want more of you like <laughs> oh that's cute that's flattering like you want two of me of course why would you not want more
or Stephanie. I would not. I you would have to do it with me. Can I keep it real? I don't think that you, Steph, I, I you strike me as somebody, but like, fuck that bitch, even though it's you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, but I'm me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. I, yes, right? Am I am I tripping your ass? Like, no, no. no. I'm just saying, that's me. I'm just saying, Stephanie, you say this now, but in the moment, you're gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking rip this bitch's hair out. <laughs> fuck this bitch right now. Like you're gonna be like this, you're like, watch, I'm gonna fuck this bitch up. She ain't gonna see this shit come and watch this shit. Like, oh, oh fake ass me ass hoe. I'll beat your puss ass trying to be me ass hoe or bitch ass hoe. Stephanie's you know gonna be like. Stephanie's like, I, I already know all your moves too, because I'm you, bitch. <laughs> Watch me use them again to you. Watch. Yo. Yo, Stephanie is one of the busiest people that I know. And I and I I, I, I feel like y'all are misreading this. I feel like Stephanie would be absolutely okay with, with herself being the love of, of 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 her potential uh you know partner's life. And right. and if that means oh. if that means you have to spread me out oh which, wow which, which is because i'm busy i might I, look she, you know? i can't be I, she can't be everywhere at once or can she <laughs> that's but what i'm just saying that one time that one time she wants to be and it's it's being and she interrupts that's when there's gonna be <laughs> right. i'm telling you as soon as she sees some certain move hey that's i'm telling you i'm telling <laughs> we are we are women we are okay. creatures of habit she does she just said she does not share so as soon as she sees her man doing something, it doesn't matter if it's her or not. We are we are creatures of there has, there's there's that also me and beta me. The clone yeah. just has to be beta me and understand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, I told you. I told you. No, no, but no, but that's what I'm saying. She she just acknowledged exactly what I was saying. There has to be a hierarchy. There has to be a hierarchy. She has to be at the top of the list. And when when it when it when it comes time for me to want to chill with Boo Boo. Then all of y'all other people better just fall back right. and let me chill with Boo Boo. Now when I'm out of town, hey. fall back on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, go, you know what I mean? Oh hey. Yo, <laughs> you know cool. this is reminding me um, of the situation in Invincible. We're not going to go into. Yes, it, that's but, what I was just know, thinking too. Yes, yeah, oh, 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 girl, <laughs> Invincible. She can do. She can duplicate herself. And so, like, imagine, like, Steph's like, oh, I have to be in Los Angeles this morning, yep. but beta me should be in Jersey for you. So just have a good time. Just not too much sun. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be back, you know, next week. I can see it. I can see it. Maybe. No, maybe not. All right. Yay! Yeah. Both thumbs up. All right. So uh, we've definitely been on X-Men for an hour. We'll start to wrap this up a little bit, but we have to get into the finality of the show, which was very touching. So just to kind of get back into the groove. Uh, no, in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this in this unfortunate uh, episode of, well, let me not jump to it. Uh, we we have a lot of happy moments, like you said. We have sibling reuniting, even though they didn't evidently know each other. <laughs> we have love triangles that are now becoming love segments. Um, we have the uh, the inauguration of Magneto into mutant king kingship, along with Rogue coming out and just being so 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 rogue as she is. Um, we've got the, the 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 Wolverine, the Cyclops, but amidst all of that, we get interrupted by tragedy. And even though uh, Cable comes from the future to try to warn our X Men what's happening or what may happen, they do still unfortunately have to fend off uh, a whole horde of Sentinels. Uh, one of which I think was like a three-headed Sentinel. Um, that basically like fucked them up to the point where they were just, I mean, they literally, and I don't even remember, Ty, you tell me, you went back and watched the old series. They were showing people getting killed, like on, like in the actual, like, I don't remember pe seeing people when I was a kid, like get killed. Like they would show people get shot, not a lot of blood, but it was like really, really like realistic with the way that people were dropping, like the bodies were dropping, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm yeah. not, I'm not leave it to it. leave it to Disney Plus to include all this blood. Like, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of blood in this episode. Yeah. And right. them disappeared. Yeah. Them disappeared was fucking nuts too. Like they were like alien vaporized and shit. It was it was pretty insane. Yeah, yeah, and and so like and then everybody goes to work. You know, Magneto starts to guard his. You know, uh, I think it was uh, uh, what's my man's name? Uh, what's the Morlock? The main Morlock? Um, 
uh, um, the green one that uh, uh, leech, uh, leech, or leech, 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 yeah, leech, leech. and them. They, he even I, I thought this was so dope as a quick write in. Whoever wrote this shit, and I hope we can get Bo DeMaio on the show. But whoever wrote this shit and put that little German line in there, it was back fucking back brilliant. Man. It's fucking his brilliant. That's that is those little things like that make the difference. You understand what I'm saying? Like you forget that this dude is from the Holocaust. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like yeah. little tidbits like that. And then all hell breaks loose. And who comes to save the day? A very very heartbroken rogue when she finds out that hey. Something may have just happened to the dude that I just denied. And who comes to say Rogue, our good friend Remy. And unfortunately, Remy basically sacrifices himself for the cause in a manner that is so noble that it is probably going to go down in X-Men history classic. as like literally one of the most classiest ways to defend a motherfucker so yes, this is your boy. You're a Gambit fan. Like I, I, you, you, you know, live, breathe, sweat. This dude, this is your man. I know you had to feel some sort of way you watching all this go down. Um, yeah, I was in tears. Um, just like Nolly said, I was in tears. Um, because I saw it, I saw it already happening when 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 he saved her, when he took when he threw that bike, I was like, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. And <laughs> yeah. then I was just like, what the fuck? And I was yeah. just in and just in tears and like the, the episode ended and I'm still in tears and I'm like, I'm so fucking mad right now. That bitch didn't tell him she loved him. And <laughs> yeah. so many fucking things that, ah. Uh! So yeah, so it was, uh, it tugged at all of the heartstrings for sure. Because, you know, us, us women, you know, I don't know what Gambit just, it, it's the accent. It's just, I don't know what it is about him. He just got big dick energy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, he does. And it's, you know, I know us women, we, we took a hard, we took a hard hit this week because our big dick energy man, he's gone now. Yeah, man. And it's I'm so not gonna lie, his, his demise was, you're right. It was, it's going to go down in history because that was like no one could defeat that sentinel. No one could get it to go down. No one could, you know, destroy it, damage it. That thing penetrated him, and he used all of his power to just <laughs> light that shit up and fucking yeah. That was that was crazy. Uh, the pause. That's a big. Yeah, pause, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah. penetrate, you know what I'm saying? Like so all the words, you know what I'm saying? It's... It did penetrate him in the abs too, in his abdomen. Okay. He wasn't wearing no crop top that day. I was pissed. I was like, not the abs, not the fucking abs. <laughs> Okay, that would have been a hell of a good story though. Him and them crop tops, like, oh, this one, Shetty. Oh, this one. Heavy. This one, this one. <laughs> that would have been a fucking good. That would have been a good scar. I'm just saying, but yeah, that was. Oh my uh, gosh, yo! This is the funniest, yo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Nolly, what was going through your mind when Gambit got penetrated? Penetrated to his abdomen. <laughs> I wish it was people so deep. Um, Y'all are five years old. Y'all are you know, twelve. You're about you're about twelve years old. You're twelve. You're twelve because my son would be cracking up. You are twelve years old. <laughs> oh my god. Woo. I'm okay. not gonna cry. Stop. Stop. Uh, okay. Anyway, okay. Oh, let me get okay. serious. Let me get serious. Okay. Um, and sing. Closure. So, okay, Nolly, Nolly, you were saying, sorry. How did you feel when Gambit was penetrated? It should have been me with the strap. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry, Steph. Steph is coming back. She's like, why do I do this shit? Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Steph. this is why I took you out of the bio. This is so stupid. I'm sorry, Steph. We're, all right. Oh, we're, man. We're, it's oh, fine. Man. We're fine. <laughs> okay, go ahead, <laughs> It was very sad. Okay. We've already discussed I was high as hell. Okay, so <laughs> I was very emotional. I was mm. sobbing, and the fucking theme song at the end did not help. Did not help. <laughs> yeah. Why would I agree with that? I had to turn that shit off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What and was it? Remind us again. More fucked up. That after the episode, 
Bo tweeted, that was just a warm up wait for episodes eight to ten. Oh, come on. What the what, what bro? You're not even you, what does he mean? What well, is that? First mean? Of all, shut up, because you're not even on the roster no more. Like, stop spoiling. Don't make me emotional like that, Bo. Not until you get on the show. What's going on? What's up, Ty? I was just gonna say, because <clears throat> I was gonna ask this, so I was gonna pose this to the, the, the panel anyway. Um, based on what we saw, right? Um do first of the first question is do we think this is this is real and cement um and it, it you know because I, and the reason i that i asked that question and posed that question is because one of the key things that i zeroed in on after my third time watching the the the, the joint was that cable said not again mm -hmm. which means that he's Ooh. tried this multiple times mm -hmm. wow so so what we've seen in, in the original X-Men is a lot of time travel. When you didn't get it right, uh, we saw we saw um uh Bishop was Bishop. We saw Bishop go back in time and try it again. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, there they, it it seems to me that this is all set up for cable to come back in time and warn them in time before they all die. Oh, praise um, Jesus. It's just because it's just so early in this season for this to happen. Like it just right. it this seems more like a season finale episode than just like episode five or four or wherever right. we're at right now. So <clears throat> I pose that question to the to the panel and even to the 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 chat. Do we think that this is final and this is what what, what we're gonna see from 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 here on out? Good question. Good question. I mean, for me personally, I don't think that this is, I mean, I think that, I think Genosha is, is gone. I mean, there's no question about Genosha. The folks who have, who have passed are past. I don't think we're getting any revitalizations. I do believe that this is what has to happen for Krakoa to be introduced into the lexicon. I think that Krakoa is on the way. And I think that with Magneto now being supercharged about him being right the whole time, because remember when he first landed, you saw the uh, the sign said Magneto was right. <laughs> I think that this basically cements that Charles' dream was <laughs> not ever going to actually fully come to fruition. And therefore, we have to have a Krakoa because we cannot trust these other species that live amongst us, which ultimately leads to Arako on a whole nother planet. So, yeah, I think that there's some finality with regard to Genosha. But with regard to the X-Men, it's just the beginning because now it leads to another land of which it's all mutants, which they're now having the knowledge of knowing that they're not only going to be ostracized, but hunted at the same time. So we're <laughs> talking a whole different defense mechanism, in my opinion. And um, I'm sure Omar, if he's in the comments, he could probably speak to that and how 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 really uh, how much that jives with the comic uh, with the with the comics. But that's where I stand. What about you, Nali? So you said it's concrete. Is that, is that what I, 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 I believe, yes, I believe so. I, I believe so. I mean, okay. we, you, so I guess your, your point is Bishop could, this could be like a whole, um, one of those back to the future type. All right. Didn't get it right this time. Let me go back again and mm -hmm. see if I can make it so that this didn't happen this way. I don't think that that's the well, case. According, that according to cable, that's according to cable, it's, you know, not again, not again. And but not again, in, in my opinion, and he's still unable to stop it, means it's inevitable. It's yeah, the whole wait. law. Go ahead, Jen. No, yes. no, 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 I was just gonna say it's the whole law. It's like um, if you saw there's this show called Dark, right? On 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 Netflix, where every like it's it's a time traveling like it's all about time travel, but it's it's just within you know, like in, in uh, I think Germany or something. And every time he somebody would try to go back in time to fix something, all they did was actually set up what actually happened. Like there's no way to change the current perspective. Every attempt you make has already been factored into the equation. So I think that's what Cable was expressing. He's like, yo, look, yeah, this shit's happening again. Fuck, I can't stop it. And that's what's going to keep happening. It's an endless loop of, in of, of inevitability. And that's what I think ultimately is the case. What do you think, yes? So <clears throat> Omar just actually in, in the comments just like alluded to what I was basically going to say. Like, like he said, um, cable came in and then like you saw, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, I don't know, whatever brought him into the past, you see what I'm saying? Um, like whatever brought him to see his mother and like see actually, you know, like, like Jean, you know what I'm saying? Standing there, like 
that energy or whatever, it brought him right back. Like he, he was like, Oh, sh it's happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause he couldn't stay long enough to fix what he needed to fix. Do you see what I'm saying? So like, right. is that a, like, you know, Omar alluded to, is that going to be like a permanent fixture or is this just going to be one of those, you know, things that, you know, it, it may <laughs> happen. It may not happen. We're not sure. My whole hope is if it's one of those, you know, like, Oh, you know, we can fix it. I just hope more transforms into Gambit takes that hit. <laughs> oh, it also have come Gambit. through, yes. You see what I'm saying? Like, because then I'll still have Gambit there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, where, where the fuck was Morph with all this shit? He could turn into anybody. You see what I'm saying? Like, if, you know, if he was Colossus, that shit would have been out of here. You see what I'm saying? But. Yeah. And uh, 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 I, I think that you've opened up a can of worms here, man. But at the end of the day, I, I do want to ask this, though. Last question about X-Men. Then we'll move on to something else. And Ty might be a good idea to do a shout out after this. Um. Where did Magneto go? Where did he take them? What what happened? Do we have any idea what uh, what exactly he did in that moment when he kind of shielded the mutants that were under fire by the Sentinels? Do we have any any guesses, any any theories um, as to what Magneto? Because I mean, th you could say you know maybe he they didn't survive, you know, or, or I mean, because what is it ultimately that made Rogue? react the way that she did is it's it seems to me it is because she felt that there may have been a death associated with the attack but in my from my perspective it doesn't feel like they actually died it feels like they just went somewhere else or 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 something happened does anybody have any any premonitions or any guesses or any theories about what actually transpired with magneto go ahead ty no they're dead like no like they, like you know he didn't protect Gambit and 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 Rogue from coming over there so that they could disappear. Right. He protected them because he knew he couldn't stop what was about to happen. Right. That's why he shielded uh Leech in that moment and told him, you know, don't be afraid. Like, you know what I mean? Like that was that was his 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 basically saying, look, this is this look, is it. this is this is it. That was there was there was not like I, I don't know if we're we're trying to dig deeper than 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 necessary because that was it was all evident what played out in that moment. Yeah, he it wasn't it. like if if they if they could have disappeared. Think of it like this: first of all, if they could if they could have disappeared at any moment, then why put yourself under that type of strain? Uh, like well, if, if if I'm shielding all of these individuals to disappear, why allow the beam to hit you in the first place? Well, just disappear. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, we're dealing with an island of mutants. You know, this isn't just Magneto. I mean, I was just yeah. under the assumption that I would I would have I would have thought that too. But there was no alert from any of those hordes of mutants there that alert and there was not one mutant that was like, "Hey, there's some shit going on that I feel something or that yo, what is, you know, like that those those sentinels were able to get all the way onto the shores of Genosha without mm. anyone knowing. How mm. is it that there's this oh, many mutants that, that have all of the, a, a person from the future, <laughs> a person yeah. from the future. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. he wasn't on Genosha, he just came. <laughs> so, I, so what I'm saying is out of all of the mutants that they should, and they showed us all of these little nice cutie, cute, little powers that the mutants had when we pulled up they was flying and they was dancing and they was yeah, changing was and they was but there wasn't one mutant not one mutant that was handling security and if he was <laughs> if he was then i'm telling you he was he definitely needs to be fired um and lose his job or her job because <laughs> he just had their, there was no security that day. I think that, that, that well, was I mean, clear, clear. Well, in that defense, time, I mean, yeah, go ahead, yes. No, I was gonna say bad time. Technically, we don't know that because all right. we saw was cable disappear and then them showing up. You could definitely see that they were fucking blowing people and like vaporizing people with their damn eyeballs. So they could have like zing zing, you know what I'm saying? The ones yeah, that were flying yeah, yeah. around before they could warn anybody. You see what I'm saying? And then, in other words, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Hold they up, might have been up. ineffective I, security. Uh, uh, right. Okay, okay. Oh, hold on a second. I, I don't know if y'all know how security works, but usually <laughs> security works this way: you detect that there is a problem, 
and you notify whoever's in charge so they can notify everyone. What if, what if you're in now, the middle of the head and you're dead? How, does, <laughs> yeah. how, does that, how are my, you security my, doing your job is all I want to say. You see my point is you are security. You're just bad security mm. because the whole purpose of security is to prevent bad shit from happening to the people you secure. Out, and so that's what know. that's not what they did. That's but, not that, look, 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 listen. Even Sentinel secret service, was, it's bro. We're not talking about crazy. normal size people. We're talking about 20 stories high sentinels that that you can't just sneak up. You can't just creep no, up. No, but you can hide in the clouds and then drop down, though. That motherfuckers then, can fly. I'm just saying, listen, you okay, just you so you're just saying, said, so you're, you're saying, saying they're security. hiring. They're hiring security from the from from the mainland. They're hiring. They're hiring. They're hiring. They're hiring. Data security guards could be there. You never know who's security. So they're hiring Dayday and Craig. They hiring security. 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 Get that whistle. For the world, Craig. The right. world. Y'all, hey, y'all bitches can't be selling pussy out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what, what am I oh, gonna say to the shit? It's just oh, man. Anyway, yo, man, that is crazy. Well, look, man, tighten up on your security. Either way, I am looking forward very much so to seeing what the next. I mean, X Men right now is showing Marvel uh, fans that they still got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of the few things that we can put out there that nobody can say anything bad about. And the beauty of it is. We can have our kids and our younger counterparts watch it in the same exact way that we did. So Yaz is as Yaz being the Godfather, um, when she, when her God, you know, kids watch, uh, it's like yeah, this is the same way I watched it coming up. So I uh, just want to shout out Yaz and uh, real quick, can I shout you out, Yaz? Can I shout out your um your whole situation? All right, go is ahead. It, no? Oh go yes, ahead. yeah. Oh, next uh, week. Uh, All right. So so real quick before we pivot, before we pivot. So, everybody, I want you to look for the last time. This is the last time that you will ever see Yasmin St. Clair. Next time you see Yasmin, she will be Yasmin Strickland of Strickland Propane. I'm just playing. Um, um, and we will be celebrating the matrimonial ceremonies on 420 of all days of the, of the, of the, the coupleship. Of her and our boy Austin, who we love, he's like a brother to us. He's always there. He was with us at MegaCon. He helped us load up the tent, the booth, and he's just like he, he's one of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Yaz. You excited, Yaz? You geeked up, man? I'm excited to celebrate with everyone. I'm excited to wear my dress finally that's hanging up in the back that I'm have been hiding for you know ever. I'm excited. I can't wait. And you know it's it's, it's a new it's a new age into my era of life. So I I can't wait. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully we'll be you know doing some live streams from you know our um our Instagrams and stuff like that on that day, so you guys can try and be a part of the uh, festivities and stuff. But just know we may. I don't know if we're. I don't think we're planning on doing a show next weekend because that's that might be what's right. going on. At least yeah, I won't yeah. be here for the show because I I will yeah. be in super wedding mode. So yeah, guys, just yeah. prepare for that. Um, we might we might not air next week because we of might. that. But you know we may we may show some tidbits from the special day. So just you know watch our watch our grams and our facebooks and uh, you may you may get a little sneak peek into the festivities with the blurred. So uh, we're excited. We're we're excited too. Steph is flying in from uh, uh you know, and oh, from her busy schedule. You know how many you know how many people she had to put on pause to be able to make room in her schedule for for us, man. Like, come on, like Steph, we appreciate that. For uh, sure, but real Steph. quick, um, Ty, you want to go ahead and make an announcement, right, quick, man? I do. Uh, um, I do. I wanted to just take this moment again, uh, as we do every week, to thank the chat for being as supportive and 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 just as awesome as y'all always are. Um, we we also ask that at any given time, if you love the show, if you like what we're doing, please make sure you hit that like, that follow button, that subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, but we we do enjoy what we do, and we want to continue to do it for you guys. So this, the support is definitely greatly appreciated. So thanks thanks to everybody. Yeah, shout out to Twitch. Twitch is on fire right now. Shout out to our new YouTube followers. If you're watching, don't just watch, subscribe as well and share, please. Um, and like and comment, please, because you see we're interactive. Facebook as well, you old fuck. <laughs> Whoever it is, you, you, you old ass fuck on Facebook. And the grams. We even got the grams on here. 
It only lasts for an hour, but we're still on here. So shout out to all that are watching. Shout out to those that are following on Comedy Hub as well. Big ups to Comedy Hub. Been Big so up. solid partners Big since up. our homeboy Tyrone put us on. Shout out to Jay and everybody over there at Comedy everybody. Hub and everybody else that's on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, as well as X, I guess. You know, we're on there too, but you know, whatever. Nolly's really into X. You know, I'm not, I'm not as much as into X. She's got a big following on X, y'all. I don't know if y'all knew that. Like, Nolly's a it's big deal on X. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get a lot of Twitter for X followers. She's she's a big deal out there. Because I like to tell old crotchety right wing nuts that they need to go expire, and I call white people creative names, and that's just how that happens. <laughs> well, I think what was the one you uh, uh what what's the one she says all the time? Um, uh, uh, uh man, I can't. There's one that uh, mil- melanin uh, redacted palm. Redacted. Palm- <laughs> Paul Cullen. Ghost Cricket. Paul Cullen. That's Ghost Cricket. Ghost Cricket. Oh, no. <laughs> Ghost Cricket. Have you ever called someone Wonder Bread before? Wonder Bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder I used to call Super yeah. Wonder Bread. Yeah, Super went, Wonder Bread. You went, far, you went far back with that one. That's yeah. all old school Wonder Bread. Woo. Woo. Wonder Bread. Now let the new kids know. We with them old, them old school shit is the best. Oh, my God. That's the best. That's the best you can't even fuck with. Mm. It definitely yeah. is, man. There's yeah. something that's been happening for a while. Go ahead, Ty. Vince, I know we're gonna pivot, but I, I wanted I just wanted to ask the panel, did it did anybody catch the, the Marvel girl drop? That the when 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 what you call it called oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Marvel, Marvel Girl. I thought that I was that was that. that was yeah, I, I thought that was that was kind of interesting. I didn't know that that was was is ah oh, man, I don't know if how well that jives. I, I don't is even that, know what it is. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was it was interesting that they called that he called Rogue Marvel Girl. It was like, yeah, you know, like I that, thought that, like that a, was interesting. Yeah, well, like, we'll see where that leads. We'll see where that leads. Oh, to Marvel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of you know. The look, maybe Rogue will be in in Marvels three. Well, anyway, man, a lot of stuff is happening. We was talking about old school things. Things have happened. Things that have happened to us. Yes, is getting married next week um but some crazy things happened this week too if, if if you're alive and you're on earth you may have noticed uh that there was a solar eclipse uh this monday or two whenever it was i don't know if you had your sunglasses and you watched it that was quite a spectacle did y'all get a chance to see it i was did it with sunglasses it was cool did you see it with the sunglasses it was kind of cool steph steph what side of the world were you on during the eclipse did you watch mm-hmm. it are you interested in that kind of thing um i was in pennsylvania at the time I was only mildly interested. I looked out my window and was like, okay, it's cloudy. And then I, <laughs> I saw some okay. photos online. I don't know. If I'm not getting actual superpowers, I'm not that interested. And I did. Right. So, no, no. Yeah. I was waiting for my superpowers to kick in. I think this is the second time in the last 10 years that we are supposed to get our superpowers from yeah. the solar system. But it didn't happen. Uh, evidently, uh, um, it was more visible in middle America uh, yeah. than it was. But I saw like a partial joint, you know what I'm saying, with my mm-hmm. sunglasses. It looks like somebody took a bite out of the sun a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, but this, this the whole time, is it just me? Or was it the whole time that I was watching this eclipse? I could not stop thinking of freaking heroes, man. Like, cause remember heroes was all based on uh, like that, that original like canon event of the, the, the eclipse giving everybody their powers. And then we get Peter Petrelli and we get Siler and we get Hiro Nakamori and we get the cheerleader, save the cheerleader, save the world. Did anybody else watch that show? Am I the only one that watched heroes? I watched we it. all watch heroes. Love heroes. Yo. Okay. Well, you'll be, you'll be delighted to know. <laughs> I don't know about the delight. I don't know about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> they should, they should let things. No. Why no. Is your body gets they, so mad they when they you start it. bringing up rebooting heroes because <laughs> they already <laughs> did. I know they tried heroes to get reborn. It. Heroes yeah. reborn. That shit was corny. It was really bad. I ain't gonna lie. It, it was bad. I, I tried. I tried. Man. You said it that was... this one is gonna be a sequel and not a reboot. With he said new characters, some familiar faces. Baby, just hang it up. Really? You know what? Here's what I think would work for a hero's, not even a reboot, but a continuation. I think that the best way to do this is to not make it about heroes, but to make it about a hero. Choose one. Stick with that storyline. Let's go deeper into the Hero Nakamura story 
when he goes into the future, when he has his long sword and like can just basically do whatever the fuck he wants. Let's not make it another spinoff. I mean, excuse me. Let's make it a spinoff instead of make it a continuation. What say you, Nolly? Would you think that'll work? Maybe. No. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because I had high hopes for Heroes Reborn and it just. Yeah. Yeah, it, really it was bad. Didn't, uh... It was bad. Uh Nolly, excuse me, uh Ty, you didn't think that uh that the 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 reboot was worth and you don't think that they should continue this franchise? I, I don't I, based on what you just said, if they if that if they were to go with that route, absolutely not. Because they, I mean it, and I'm gonna set tell you why. Most of most of season three or four was based around Hero and his and his and his powers of time travel and everything like that. They mm -hmm. they they took a, a turn to where it, it wasn't so much based around Peter Petrelli and and it was more based around Hero and his, and his role in in trying to stop everything and changing things and everything like that. So I think that's already been tapped into. Um, if you are going to do it, if 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 that if they if they're just dead set on doing it, then bring the entire cast back. Don't don't like if you're going to do it. I think that was where Heroes Reborn suffered was that they they yeah. only brought back the father and then the cop the other the yeah. other cop i think they were the only two that that kind of mm -hmm. resurfaced yeah. and the you didn't even bring back the major people like if yeah. you're gonna bring you gotta have siler you gotta, you gotta have gotta, peter you, you gotta have Pe peter petrelli you gotta have the doctor the 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 one that turned into uh, a monster Sanjay. or whatever Sanjay. 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 Yo, yeah. you, you if you're going to do it then do it like if you're gonna do a continuation, do a continuation to bring everybody back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that would make more sense than trying to bring a new cast, start it all over. I just don't want to see that, man, at this point. You know what I mean? I mean, because it'll be very nostalgic if you bring back the Fresh. cast. That's yeah, right. It, it, like, you know what I'm saying like to, to bring back, yeah. I Dr. said Sanjay. Oh my god, yeah. I'm getting canceled as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I may as well have called him Nabu. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, oops, yeah. my bad. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really. I, I think, I think, I think sometimes what you do is you mess up when you when you do those reboots and then they go really really wrong. You put a sour taste in the fan in the fans' mouth, and that's what we have right now: a sour taste. So right. if, if you're going to do it, bring back the entire cast. Mm -hmm. Let Siler. Siler was a star in that show. Fuck and, and, yeah. think, and, he, and he was and, a breakout and, star. He was a breakout star. That was and I think you bring that back. You bring him back. You make him nastier than ever. Because remember, this motherfucker has, can get everybody's powers. I mean, like oh, yeah. you, anytime you got a, a a villain like that, then you got a you got a, a definite, you know, thing. That's hold what on, I'm hold saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Don't don't shortchange that man. He don't just get anybody. He's not rogue. Okay? Oh my bad. He, he, Take it. he has to slice your head off yes. to get your powers, and he yes. does it with his finger. This yeah. motherfucker is evil as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I love that shit. And then he somehow tried to make flip him and make him like a good guy towards the end. But this motherfucker was going in bars looking for people with superpowers. They had his hat low with the Jay Z shit. You know what I'm saying? And he yeah. would just just peel your fucking head off and take your powers. That. Is what we need, Tim Kring. Bring that shit back home, boy. And then we might actually have some promise with this. I'm sorry, I got a little excited. Dude was just so raw. And then to see Zachary Kento take mm -hmm. off and to become Spock and all of that afterwards. Shout out to my Star Trek fans. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. So there's that part. All right. But who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But either way, it looks like whether we like it or not, it's in development. So we'll see what happens with that. I do want to take a quick moment, even though it's a uh, 90 minutes into the show to do the segment that I like to call our favorite black characters. This is once again, a continuation of a segment quickly, just to spotlight favorite black characters that we've seen in cinema and animation over the years. And this week we're going to spotlight the theme of black villains, black villains that we all have black villains we know of but just to name a few we'll go ahead and start with oh man i'm going to a classic first uh, well you know what let's go with somebody you all know uh we did have the high magistrate as of late uh one who um did not necessarily take too kind to his creations and blew up his entire world <laughs> uh of of uh counter earth so yes yeah, shout out to the high magistrate but i'm gonna go ahead and take this back to a time where grace jones 
actually <laughs> crossed the scene and was a villain <laughs> in James Bond. What the fuck is you laughing at, man? What's so funny? You what you laughing because, at? Yo, because I thought you was talking about her in um uh, in, in the movie it's with uh, Boomerang M No and Boomerang. No, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 no, no. no. <laughs> Pussy, 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 pussy. Remember she was different. Come to America. Uh, so when are we gonna? Fuck? <laughs> what she said to oh, Marcus? So, yeah, yes. so when are we yes. gonna? Fuck? He's like, what? what? the fuck is she talking about? She's like, oh, come on, Marcus. You know, we know like, it is. You know you want this pussy. And she's like, what? Don't be saying that shit. She's like, what? I can't say it. Pussy, pussy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm. So sorry. I'm Step, I mean, I'm this sorry, is only it's only this is only gonna be funny to people who've seen that movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steph, did you, you see Boomerang, Steph? Did you see Boomerang? Yes. You saw Boomerang. You did you did you like it? Did you like the movie? Uh, uh, <laughs> mm, I don't I, think that you would like the idea of a man who was a player getting played. I have mixed feelings. I I just think he should have acted right sooner. I get annoyed with men who don't get their shit together until the absolute last minute. I see it in my real life. So watching it on screen is triggering. Fair enough. I didn't think, consider that angle. Yeah. But I guess it was a good outcome. I don't know. Who knows? Well, either way, Grace Love Jones was brought definitely- his ass home last night. <laughs> and that's that's what we we met Holly Berry in in Boomerang. That was like one of her face first breakout roles, so that was pretty cool. But anyway, Grace Jones uh, definitely bringing back. Now I'm also going to bring y'all back. Since we're back in the, quit laughing, Ty. <laughs> She's fucking me up. I'm gonna bring y'all back to one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies, The Wiz. This is where we actually got to meet Eveline, man. One of our, oh my god, man. Now nothing made me quiver more than when Eveline took Toto from Dorothy, held him over a fire, and said, "Would you like ketchup or mustard on your hot dog, bro? Get the fuck out of here." That is a line for a motherfucker. Come on, man. So, Eveline, you're definitely getting your flowers today. And, and before long in, in the Marvel game, before Vincent D'Onofrio uh, grazed the role of Kingpin, it was actually heralded by one Michael Clark Duncan in the OG Daredevil. No, nobody's favorite, but it still happened. And yeah, man, mm. dare I say, he actually made a fairly good kingpin. Out of all the things that people complained about of this movie, one of the main ones being Ben Affleck, uh, Michael Clark Duncan was not the problem. And there was no backlash for him being black instead of white and all that other stuff. He held it down, and unfortunately, he's no longer with us. But it brings me to my favorite black character villain. And after this, you guys could tell me some of your favorite black villains. Mine in history, and I know I'm skipping over a lot, it comes uh, is a man named Simon Phoenix. Is anybody familiar with Simon Phoenix? No? Well, let me refresh your memory. Simon Phoenix is from the movie Demolition Man, in which Wesley Snipes played a blonde-haired, blue-eyed psycho killer from the past that goes into the future because his nemesis is a cop that is obsessed with catching him in whatever timeline it is. In this movie, we see Wesley Snipes remove somebody's eyeball while they're still alive in order to get through security clearance. This motherfucker had all kind of guns, was funny as hell, and you already know, when you get Wesley Snipes, you're getting martial arts, you're getting high kicks to the neck, to the head, and this motherfucker held that shit down. So real quick, I just want to big up my favorite black character of the week, which is going to be Wesley Snipes' depiction of Simon Phoenix in the ever so timeless Demolition Man I have spoken. What are some of y'all favorite black characters that were villains? Mm. Aaliyah and Queen of the Damned. Mm. Was she a villain? Yes, she technically was. Technically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, she, she was she was queen of the damned, and she wanted to take was. over the entire world and fill her empire with corpses. So technically, she was. Yeah, the I villain. guess you're right. Damn. Oh shit. Yeah, I love that, that villain guy. too. I love the the dude. I remember the song in Queen of the Damned. Why won't you die? I see death in your eyes. Yeah. Drinking you keeps me alive. Yo, that shit is crazy. I, this is, is the damn. Got some, got some bangers in that bitch. Good shit. Yeah, good yeah. shit. Yeah, good good call. Steph, any favorite? What's that look, Steph? You, yeah, yeah. I know a couple songs. I know. <laughs> I, just, 
I, I didn't expect that. It was it was wonderful, just unexpected. <laughs> you got a favorite black villain, Steph? I mean, you all know I am a lifelong fan of Killmonger, always. Um, I also, now I'm like, this one's complicated because, but I'm talking about the character, not the actor. I really enjoyed He Who Remains. Um, mm. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I would I get love it. to have and a good black lady villain favorite, but I just I don't I don't think I have a lady favorite villain okay. yet. You want to uh, Amanda Waller, maybe? Mm, that's a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I, I like her. I don't I don't get like wildly excited, but I yeah, I, I'm a fan, I would say. Okay. Is okay. Amanda Waller really a villain though? Yeah. Is it? I mean, is it, I, I mean uh, technically, in a way, yeah. She works for the government she, to have a to have a secret force that that is responsible for checking superheroes when they get out of line. How did she get that job, though? She's a bad guy. She's a government <laughs> agent. She's a government agent. I'm saying no one else got that job for her. No one else. By, She's a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that heroes put explosive devices in the heads of the people they control in order to, you know, mm -hmm. save the day. And, and such, let so. them know that they that she can control them at any time. I mean, you're let's, controlling criminals. Yeah, well, but let's not criminals. forget. Let's not forget, Ty. At the end of the second Suicide Squad, they had to literally beat, like, they had to knock her out because she was yep. about to blow them all up for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, like they had done everything right, and she was just going to hit the button. They're like, no, they're... They're safe, you know what I'm saying? So let's not forget, you know, she, yeah, she had a job to do, but she was about to kill, you know, well, even if they were criminals, you know, people just because she had the power, you know? So I don't know. There's debatable. What's up, yes? You want to hear my power couple villain couple? So this is a mad throwback. You guys probably definitely remember this movie and some of like, you know, the, the chat will definitely remember this movie. So this movie came out in 1995, Vampire in Brooklyn, Eddie Murphy. Oh, yes. shit! And when Eddie Murphy and Angela Bassett, when he turns her, the that was the most, I'm not going to lie, head-banging, fucking most fire villain couple I have ever, hands down, seen to this day still. Yo, you right. Vampire in Brooklyn was good. And I loved his sermon. You know what I'm saying? When he gave his sermon to the... All right now, because you can see that sermon happening in the church. Like, all right, now, yes. evil is good because without bad, without evil, there will be no good. Mm -hmm. Without bad, there will be no light. Without dark, there will be no light. So evil is good. Ass is good. In fact, if I was able to stumble on some evil ass, then I'd have a good day. <laughs> 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 Vampire Brooklyn, that is definitely a hidden gem. Nolly, oh, anybody? Okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna back Killmonger because he wasn't wrong. Um, yeah, and yeah, yeah. um, she's not the villain, but she's a villain. Vivica a. Fox's character in Kill Bill. Yes. Oh wow! I know she was. They they fucking beat that bitch to death. Nah, nah she's a villain, dog. They they beat the bride to death. She's yeah, 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 they did. They did. did. But she didn't have to. Do. She didn't have to kill her in front of her daughter, though. And I'm still waiting for that reboot. Uh, uh Quentin she Tarantino. did it. She told the kid to go in. Yeah. Nah, she saw the bus pulling up and she um, kept fighting. Who else? She saw the bus pull up and she still commenced to fight. And then she pulled the pulled the sword out while the daughter was right there in the kitchen. So nah, bro. I'm sorry, but I mean, in her defense, she did shoot her while she was pregnant <laughs> on her wedding day. You know, what I'm so there's I that. Her ass. Yeah, there was. There's that. You're right. Good. Good point. What's up, Ty? I just thought about it because uh, because I was trying to think. I was like, black villains, man. It's not. We don't have a lot of black villains. But um, most recently, Idris Elba played. Um, I mean, he did a couple of ones that I thought was was decent. I mean, he did the one with um, the Rock and uh, thing in um, in in one of the, the Fast and Furious joints, but also. Yeah, he was a villain in one of those one of those with uh, the one with um, the Rock in in um, uh, Ben Diesel uh, in, in 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 one of the yeah. one of the, the past period. But that wasn't what I was referring to. I was talking about um, Idris Elba in that in that western that black western we saw that, uh, mm -hmm. that oh higher the higher the harder they fall. 
The steps yeah. that put on. Yes. Yeah, I, thought, I thought Idris Elba was a pretty good villain in that. Yes, he was. I, I agree. Was good. Oh, Nolly, and, and oh, go ahead, sorry. go ahead. Yes. I was gonna say we I think we interrupted Nolly like before Bad Ty started talking. Like oh, she was gonna say I don't something. know. I don't know if anyone saw Uncharted. Um yeah. the movie. I like to watch anything based on video games, even if it's yes. bad. But um Tati, Sabrina. Tati Gabriel was um the villain in there. Yeah. Was, was that Nadine? Was she uh um what was what was her character's name? Do we remember her character's name? Was it was it um uh was it the one from the most recent Uncharted video game yeah. where where he runs no. with his brother? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Nali. I, oh. I'm really sorry. About no, that. I was like I was looking like, at her, and I was like, I think she was about to say something. Then we all like, I was saying the words, but they weren't coming. But it was there. Thanks, Thank you. Sorry, I'm really sorry about that, Nali. I didn't mean to, oh, to cut good. you off. Um, but don't forget that Idris Elba was also a villain in Star Trek. Okay, yes. in the J.J. Abrams reboot. Remember, in the third installment, he actually and. I hate to say it, that's probably the worst installment, but his role was was pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'll definitely give him his kudos. So yeah, those are some of our favorite black villains. I hope that that doesn't put, I hope I didn't shit on Idris just now because hopefully he'll come on, <laughs> come on the show. What's up, yes? So uh, the chat actually gave um, a really good one, Reva, but like, was she really a villain? I feel like, right. I feel like she's an anti-villain, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I don't She's not really like a villain chat. I don't feel like I, I feel like we, we we can fight about this at a different time, you know, when we have more time. But I feel like she's an anti-villain. I don't feel like she's a villain because the <laughs> only reason she got with the dark, you know, what I'm saying inside and like the the dark force was to destroy them from the inside out. Remember that was her whole gimmick. <laughs> she was a youngling, so I'm just saying, just just That's remember cool. this. So I mean, we can we can fight about yeah. this later. I'm just saying, like I don't oh, know about that one, Mr. Glass, and, and then um oh, um, Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass, yeah, I saw that too. And then, um, oh my God, so uh, Minnie also had another one. David Ruffalo from the Five Heartbeats. And don't forget the Temptations. Ruffalo. He was also the bad guy in the fucking <laughs> Temptations too. <laughs> that motherfucker, oh my God, I would have killed his ass back in the day. <laughs> First of all, yes. David Ruffin is funny yes. enough, but Ruffalo is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> remember, in the, remember in the Five Heartbeats where he got penetrated? Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. But we got, I got it. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, but, but one? Um, what is but one? Like, why, why are we doing but one? Is but one? Like, what's the fuck but one? one? I mean, we don't, we don't respect, like, like, Obi, we can't call him Obi Wan. <laughs> but what? That's, yo, I'm starring that comment, yo. That shit's hilarious. I don't know who was the first one to say that shit, but that shit is funny as shit, but one. Get the fuck out of here. You're so silly. But anyway, one. so yeah, man, those are some of our faves. Thank you, chat. Thank you so much. We got a few minutes left. Let's go ahead and go over a couple other things real quick. Now, if you have been watching some of these streaming networks, you've been noticing that they have definitely been capitalizing on video li live video game adaptations. And one of the most recent ones to hit the, uh, to hit the streaming services is one that is called Fallout, of which uh -huh. Nolly is a big fan. Now, how you like the show so far? It's so good. <laughs> Talk to us about it. I think I think we're finally in an age where we're getting good adaptations. Agreed. I think Last of Us set the bar really high, and now people are like, maybe we should give the fans what they need and what they're asking for because. Mm -hmm. So you. you, so you, so uh, you, you give the the series. I a rep okay, so you would recommend it? Hundred percent. As even and I mean, if even could, if you've never played Fallout before, it starts like every Fallout game. You get a glimpse of what happened. It explains it, so you're not entirely lost. It's good. Okay. It was definitely good. I have right. to say, I, I can I'm, second that. I was going to say, I don't know if anybody else has got a chance to see it. I've only seen the first episode, but I was immediately drawn in. The storyline is compelling. The characters are compelling. And and some of the characters, I mean, they they, they have some legs. Like, this is uh, one of the main characters. Her name is Lucy. Uh, you may recognize her. Um, there's another main character called the Ghoul. All right. That's he, is, he, is, he is phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Great. But no, I, I didn't. I, I, I first of all, I'm one of the, the 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 one of the the few that never played Fallout. Never played it. Never played it. But I watched the entire series. I've already seen the entire series, and that dude. Um, and I'm I'm I meant to remember his name. Walt, Walt Walton Goggins, I think is his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walton Goggins. Yeah. Walton Goggins. 
Yo, he I've seen him in a lot of stuff and I've always thought he was a good actor, but he is phenomenal. He drives this show. His performance in this series is phenomenal. And I'm I'm gonna tell you, there's not many many uh uh dudes that that have swag. <laughs> Walt Walter got some swag. He got some swag with him, man. Like that dude okay. got some straight up swag, man. So uh uh yeah, I'm loving this show. As a person who okay. never watched the video, never played the video game, don't have nothing that don't have a clue about the video game, you don't have to watch the video game. I'm 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 telling it any I mean play the video game to, to enjoy this series. It is yeah. it is it is a phenomenal series so far. And I and I'm like I said, I've watched the whole series thus far and it, it just gets better and better. Okay, cool. We're running low on time a little bit, so I'm going to rush through this last part, and we're unfortunately probably going to have to skip one of our topics. I'll let you know which one that is, but I did want to spotlight Maximus, who was another one of the characters on there, and I'm not going to lie, even though his storyline is, you know, is a little compelling and whatnot, I could not help but look at him and think, am I looking at the replacement for Kang in this? Because well, I feel like he could handle it. I mean, the look. Why do you feel that? There, <laughs> uh, I think why, why exactly? he's, no Jonathan Majors. he's no Jonathan Majors, but I mean, Jonathan Majors has already set the tone for Kane. All he has to do is continue it. Um, yeah, you're going just based off looks, not mm-hmm. acting. And acting chops. Not, what, he's what not acting? a dumb, but you don't maybe, need to. Maybe, you should, maybe you should see the whole series before okay. you nominate right. this dude. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Damn. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. that politely, damn. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, cool. Well, anyway, the moral of the story is, if Nolly says it's good, it's definitely good. So make sure you guys check out Fallout. We'll discuss in the future as well. Now, we're running a little low on time, so I have to talk about, I have to talk about this recent development in Ninja Turtles lore. We are in the midst of possibly seeing a live action last Ronin fucking movie from the TMNT series, which is looking like it's going to be directed or made. Um, Oh, shoot. By Walter Hamada, who actually was the one who made the the the, the TMNT animated joint. And uh, we got Tyler Burstyn Smith involved in this project as well. And I got to tell y'all. This is going to change shit when it comes to the TMNT universe because not only is it rated R, but we lose happy Michelangelo because unfortunately in this series, for those who are unfamiliar, Michelangelo is the last surviving member of TMNT. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Master Splinter all have been killed by the foot, and now he has picked up all of their weapons and skills and is out to avenge them. If you could give me just a moment, I want to read you a quick excerpt from the last Ronin series that is probably going to get you just as excited as I am about this freaking series. So just listen to the way that this shit is written. This is what's happening in 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 uh, in, in, uh, in Michelangelo's mind three years after the demise of his, his siblings and his father. Three years. Three years since I have felt anything. And now pain, violent and absolute, flooding my senses, my entire being, mind, body, soul. The pain reminds me that I came here to die and I welcome it. This is the fucking shit we're about to walk into. You don't hear that shit. This is not cowabunga, dude, pizza. This is, where these niggas at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Show me the point me in the direction of the motherfucker that killed my brother, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for this shit. And the fact that it's rated R, it means the Deadpool effect is working. The blade effect is working. We're tired of seeing these folks try to placate the people who were fans of these shows when they were kids, now having to make it PG 13 for the younger generation that's gonna trash it anyway go ahead and make it for the people that loved it originally and that's why i'm so excited about the last ronin i am yo i literally screamed when nolly dropped this in the chat and then i went and looked it up again and i was like oh my god this is serious this is really happening so yes yes for those y'all that is fans of tmnt like me we're about to witness the golden age of turtle power in my opinion and i for one am here for it So this is live action. This is not an animated. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Live right. action. So just think about it. Some of the things that we didn't like about the, the, the Michael Bay TMNTs was like the graphics. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of the, you know, it's a little, it's a little over uh, cartoony. Now we focus on just one turtle 
and his little brothers and little cousins that they got in the comic as well. I ain't going to give you too much. And yo, we get to see now we already know Romans from like, you know, Marvel, you know, they got their own Ronan Ronin and Marvel, but in TMT universe, this shit's gritty. I remember when I had the TMT comic book when I was like 11 and I remember being like, oh shit, they cussing in this. There's blood in this. Like, yo, it's gritty in the graphic novels. I'm so happy to see this come to actually the big screen. So yes, man, uh, to say that I am excited is an understatement. So I'll shut up. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Um, real quick before we start getting ready to go, a couple of things that we did want to talk about that we're not unfortunately going to be able to get to today. Uh, we definitely wanted to talk Star Trek Discovery. It is back on the big screen. And I wanted to talk to Ty about the fact that they kind of toy with my emotions about getting rid of book and book still here. <laughs> man, like, oh, I listen, man, I listen, I, I stayed up. For you, I did this for you. I stayed up last night and because and to watch it, and I watched two episodes, and and I and I really said to myself, y'all took y'all took these people away only to bring them right back. Like I thought y'all was doing like like the, I thought the whole thing was we're gonna move forward with, and y'all bring it right back, and 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 it almost feels like season four playing an yeah, old well, game. Well, like, nah, I mean, there's I, I, I obviously. Well, I, how many episodes have you seen? I'm, I'm I'm caught up. Oh, you saw all three. Okay, I'm, I'm there's only three there's episodes. Four. All right, cool. No, there's, there's, three episodes. there's three episodes. There's three. Okay, so all right, all right. I just well, it's oh. not. Based, see, the difference is in this one, they took the first episode to spotlight the the uncoupling. So now it's just book as an officer and not book as the boyfriend of the captain. So I'm okay with that, but it did kind of give me okay, he's leaving vibes. But he's not. But we can't talk about it right now because we only got yeah, a couple yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. definitely have to revisit that for, for all the trekkers out there. We definitely want to talk about that. We also were considering I was going to show the the uh, the Joker trailer because I know everybody's excited about that, especially Steph. Steph's favorite. Well, you, got you, got <laughs> you got time. You got time. To play the <laughs> you got time to play the trailer. I don't know if I do, man. You think I got time for it? Man, yeah. you got about uh, four minutes, bro. Like, I, got, you got, I, I, don't, I don't think you do. I don't, I don't think I don't you do. Think. I, <laughs> Steph says I don't have time, man. So I'm going with Steph. All right. Have you, have you guys been watching Shogun? Yes. Uh, we did. We did, and we talked about it a little while ago. Yes, it was some of your wedding planning weekends that you were here. But <laughs> what's up, Steph? I just want to throw out real quick, fast. Uh, I think R-rated Ninja Turtles is weird. Like it, it's giving like R-rated SpongeBob. Like it's a children's uh, animated. Show. Like I would not watch oh, R-rated SpongeBob. It would be strange and awkward and uncomfortable. So I just want to put that out there. We do have a dissenting opinion. We could talk about it more in the future. Um, also, I just want to acknowledge to everyone. Good Times came out yesterday. I have yes. not watched it yet, Speak but I'm looking it. forward to watching it and discussing for all the people in the comments who are like, oh, I made up my mind, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't watched it, we have nothing to talk about because I Woo. appreciate a conversation with a person who has a fully informed opinion. If you don't feel like you need to have an informed opinion and actually watch, there's nothing to discuss. But if you have watched it and we have differing opinions, that's fine. I'm open to that dialogue. So I'm going to watch it before I say more so I can have fully informed opinion but i'm excited to watch it and excited to talk about it and open up that conversation once we've actually had a chance to see some episodes thank you for that steph yes the good times show did drop and our home girl yvette nicole brown uh was one of the voice uh one of the voiceover she characters the in the show she yeah, plays the mom and yeah. yvette nicole brown a quick announcement once again will be here on star wars day may the 4th that day we will be broadcasting later in the day instead of our usual morning time so we can have a live show with Yvette Nicole on Star Wars Day. And we're going to ask about the good times and we're going to ask about a little, little relationship that she got going on. And not too long after that, uh, the other member of that Good Times production, Carl Jones, is also, even though he ain't associated with it no more, he's quick to yeah, just be like, yeah. look, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Hey, don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Uh, so yeah, he's, he. Uh, I'm sure he has uh, things to say about how that all turned out but either way guys as always it is a pleasure on behalf of myself steph who graced us with the presence today steph and she made it the whole oh, show yeah, thank yeah. you so much and nolly of course yes the new the soon to be strickland the homie bad tie coming all the way in from eight mile uh tiffy Omar in the comments, uh, uh, Tyrone, who, uh, who's still a member, and even homie Kev, who doesn't pull up as much. Um, we just want to say, as always, y'all be your authentic self as I sit here on the bridge of the Star Trek Discovery uh, uh, ship. Be authentic self, because if you ain't being yourself, guess what you being? 
fake and ain't no honor in that and in all things if you a geek as we always say gonna let that geek flag fly i love the new blurred order you should too <laughs> let me get all this 10 p wang all niggas rapping about the same old thing i've been coming through with the same old game ain't shit change except nine got a name got it out the mud but we got no stains cold ass bitch with a gold ass chain the girl call me daddy not my government name money on my mind got them bands on my brain let me tell y'all about a nigga i 